Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. A ray of hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Friend, let me invite you today to pick up your Bible and turn with me over to Matthew's Gospel. We'll be in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 6. I want us to look at verse number 34. Get a cup of coffee. Hey, let's sit together, have an encounter with God and his precious word on this beautiful day. Well, amen. What a great way to start a brand new day. A good, fresh cup of hot coffee. Spending some quality time looking at God's precious word. Over in Matthew chapter 6, verse 34, the Bible says here, Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought of the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Friend, today I want to bring to you a devotion titled, Give Us This Day. In this verse of scripture, the Lord Jesus Christ basically is saying, don't worry about tomorrow. Our Lord's words are easier said than done. I mean, think about it. They really are, aren't they? It's hard to even imagine a life completely free from all worry. Whether it's big, life-altering circumstances or daily things in our lives that we struggle with, we worry. Maybe that's why Christ, in the first sermon he ever delivered, spent a significant portion of his time on the subject of worry. The word worry in this particular section of the Sermon on the Mount is also translated as anxious it literally means to divide the mind. Now, isn't that a great mental picture? Think about it. Worry divides the focus of our mind. Worry takes our attention from what is utmost and scatters it here and there, resulting in a complete lack of direction if we aren't careful. And I'll just stop there and say, you know how I know that. Because, friend, I've experienced that. So the question comes to mind, how do we guard against a divided mind? Well, I believe that Jesus gives to us a clear answer. Over in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 6, verse 33, he tells us, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And that's so important. There's so many other things that we seek first. So maybe the question isn't, how do I keep from worrying? Maybe a more fruitful approach is, what am I seeking? Nothing focuses uh, the mind like the Holy Spirit of God. You see, my friend, he puts our lives into perspective, pulling out the weeds of this world that can choke out the fruit of the Spirit. Now, as a child of God, we have incredible privilege to come to the Lord God in prayer. Uh, every time that Satan tries to attack your mind, rebuke him in the name of the Lord. Uh, I think about the great sermon that E.V. Hill preached at Manpower, a man's meeting. He talked about how God defeated uh, Satan time and time again by saying it is written. Go to the word of God and just hit the devil, E.V. Hill said. Hit him. Hit him. Every time Satan tries to divide your mind, hit him. Hit the devil with the word and be an overcomer. So we have an incredible privilege coming to God in prayer. Now, this sacred time with God is our opportunity to lay all our burdens at his feet. 
But there again, let me say, most of the time we'll lay our burdens there and then pick them up and take them back with us wherever we go. We tend to lay them there and pick them back up. Are we more capable of solving our own problems than God is? Do we have more resources, more knowledge, more wisdom, more love? Of course not. So we must lay our burdens at his feet in sincere faith and leave them there in an unwavering trust and faith in God. Where are your burdens? Are they dividing your mind, distracting you, robbing you of a joyful life? Jesus said, I've come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Or are your problems and worries where they belong? In the capable hands of your loving, solving, or sovereign rather, he, and he is solving, your loving, sovereign, heavenly Father, uh, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Give us this day your peace that passes understanding. Jesus made it very clear. Take no thought for tomorrow, for the morrow shall take thought of the things of itself. Think about these things. Pray with me. Father, it's in our nature to worry. It's in our nature to be anxious. But it's in your nature, O oh God, to bring true peace and hope. And so, Lord, as we lay our worries at your feet, our burdens, help us lay them there and leave them there and focus on you. And it'll certainly help us get past all things that we face. God, I love you. And I thank you, Lord, that, uh, that you carry the load for me. Because, Lord, if I had to carry that load of worry and burden, then I would be utterly defeated. But then there's victory in Jesus. So help us, O oh Lord, to accept that victory and move forward for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, I pray you'll do just that and make a difference in your world. Hey, uh, somebody's always looking at your life, and your life could be the only Bible that some will ever see. So let us see here, see and hear uh, Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.